Hey, what's going on guys? I have been trading pretty well the last few weeks. Been getting lots of payouts uh, across my prop accounts and I thought I'd make a video on this top step account, 150k. We are at 8k. Started off pretty good then I had a blunder day and uh, slowly but surely started to get some of my uh, money back chipping away at the losses here I like to do that when I have a red day I try not to go back uh, guns blazing I need to get my money back right away mentality I try to just put it on the, the back burner and be patient to get my uh, money back and that's what I did climbed out of the hole and started to see some good price action again and waited for some good setups to push the gas pedal you know this day i was above two thousand dollars with the scaling plan you're allowed to go up in contract i think i went in four minis this day usually i trade one to three minis and we had some nice runners you know that's how i like to trade i like to scalp but at the same time trail my profits and if I catch a momentum day where I can trail my uh, profits, um, paper profits with uh, a stop loss and just give it some room and let the market just tell me how much it wants to give me and catch some big runners. So that day I made, uh, what, 3,800 3, and then uh, 1,500 this day. And then today I made, what, 653. So yeah, we are gonna take a payout. I'm not sure how much I wanna take out because uh, last couple times I took some payouts on top step, I did about 50% and then I didn't have much wiggle room left to absorb a bad day and then the end of day trailing drawdown, you know, bit me in the butt. So I think I am going a different route with this. I want to take a payout get to house money and have some room for a red day if it happens and just strategically keep this account um, as long as I can and build back my live account up get some uh, profits and then roll it over to my live account hopefully and pay myself along the way you can do that with top step you can have five XFAs and one live and I have one live and three XFAs right now Let's see how we did on this account as far as stats go. All right, so risk to reward ratio 1 to 2.63. Risking 1 to get 2.63. That's just because I trail my profits and sometimes I catch nice runners and I don't really have a set standard rigid. I need to only take, uh, you know, one I'm only gonna take three and risk one type of mentality when I trade because I'm trading the NQ the markets are wild and I have to lock in some green days so when I see profit I take profit and I trail profit so I do have a high win rate with my style of trading as well I usually don't like to take my profits uh, below 20 ticks which is about well, five points and sometimes I can catch runners of, uh, you know, 40, 80. I caught a, a runner uh, the other day when I made the 3,800 of about 45, 50 points, something like that on one mini. Let's see here. And I've actually been using the lockout feature a lot more on top step, as you can see. All my winning days are pretty much the equity high of that day so started off this account and yeah just locked in a, a easy green day 251 bucks day two 654 and look as you can see i locked myself out or i just stopped trading here's another one 872 use the lockout feature i've caught the good moves of the morning no need to keep rushing it uh getting greedy right lock myself out I love that this day uh, was my blunder day let's look at this 18 contracts uh, equity high was 1700 so that means I started off with some losers 
and instead of me trying to just call it a day and have a, hey, you know, it's a decent or not too big of a red day, I tried to scout my way back. I think this day I actually kind of got it back down to like minus eight or nine hundred, and I took a few more losses and a few more, and then, you know, that day was a red day. So uh, the next day we had a small green day like you saw on the equity curve. I think this was the holiday. I can't remember. It was just a one trade or no, actually 20 contracts. I think maybe I battled back. Uh, yeah, P and L low. So I chip. I, I scaled my way back out of the hole and then got to green. Looks like that was the story of that day. And then 5:38, locked myself out. Needed. I needed needed to lock in a green day. Obviously, needed to recover that. Lock in another green day. Started getting some momentum here and more momentum here. Stepped on the gas when I saw some really good price action that I like. I typically do a little bit better in the bullish markets and I was sharing in my Discord here. Uh, I bet we will have some strong bull rallies this week. Probably Wednesday too, usually around the 4th and this was on 7-1. And sure enough, we had a nice rally yesterday and today. And I did really well on my personal, one of my personal accounts. Uh, yeah, I caught a $500 uh, dollar runner near the end of the day. It actually went a little bit further, but that's right where I threw the stop loss in before I closed it down. So I got 25 point runner there. You can see the little bounce off the 20 exponential moving average on the five minute. It's, um, Bull trending day and it ripped broke one more time for a July 4th rally broke the all-time high one more time and I didn't catch the rest of that but I was happy with my extra 500 bucks yeah I also got a payout on my take profit trader as well that came through 1210 payout request has been approved we got the money there and we're gonna take a payout on the personal account as well. Um, I'm already up to seven thousand dollars. Paid myself a couple times already. Put two K in this account, like twenty five hundred. And I think it's so important to always put in what you're uh, willing to lose in a personal account. Not too much, but just enough to make some decent money and flip it and grow it and pay yourself along the way and that's how I like to do it. If I lose a small amount of money that I deposited in the personal account, I'm okay with that. I will try again later or bounce over to one of my other personal accounts. I do that as well. I like having multiple accounts just like in prop trading. And getting to house money is such a great feeling because then you are not worried about you know going negative this account I'm gonna pay myself I'll take 1500 out okay boom transfers on the way another pay up so yeah we're gonna build it back up I want to build it up to 10k maybe 12K and then probably move the rest of my profits to my live top step account. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, you only need five winning days of $200 or more and I've had a total of 16. I think with top step, uh, people get caught up in the, let me get paid as fast as possible. And I see this mentality all over the prop space industry and just and trading like, how fast can I get paid and how much can I get paid right away they're not not really thinking about it in the long term uh, and I think that is good and bad I do believe in paying yourself getting to house money I mean I could even write a book on it right it is so important to get to house money but at the same time there's a fine line there where I think it's also important to keep and grow your account at least try to keep it and grow it you don't want to just Oh, I got one payout. I'm just going to uh, close my account. We'll start all over, right? And then you start over, and then it's just, uh, yeah. You can save time and money 
just keeping the account. So I think my goal, we'll see what happens. Take 3K out, leave 5K, get it to 10K. Let's go ahead and take some payout. Why does it say current balance 2,400? Oh, I need to switch to my other account. All right, here we go. Take out three one eight one. We'll take out three thousand one eighty one. And the cool thing about Top Step is they refund you your eval cost when you get your first payout. So we're gonna get that as well. This will leave me with a balance of five thousand. And I could take a payout on my other account too, but like I was saying earlier, I'd like to build it up before I. Uh, take a payout on that I'm not like hurting for the money but I do like pay myself right away best thing to do with top step is to make sure you get to where your end of day drawdown has stopped trailing because if you take a payout before then then you lose your extra initial balance uh, drawdown that they allow you yeah. all right so top step will be sending me my money I'm thinking because of the holidays, I'll probably get it in the bank maybe Saturday or Monday. They're usually really quick. And that's why I really like Top Step as well. You can trade the news. You can have big winning days. There's no worry of consistency. In fact, if you make some money, you make some big money, right? You have a big winning day. They're not going to give you a hard time about it. They're not going to disqualify you from getting your payout. They're actually going to celebrate it with you. They might even invite you to come on Top Step TV or something. You know, they're going to tell you good job. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I will be back streaming probably next week.